Like when did you start farming? Yes, it was about 30, 38, 39. I think I started farming. And is that when you got your own land or when you were... No, I was renting it for a while and then I bought it. I think in, in 30, in the 41 or 42. How many horses did you start with when you first started? Oh, I started? started with four only. Okay. And then I kept, had some, they had some colts and that, and I raised them and mm -hmm. got it to 17 of them. Up to 17 and then, when... And then I quit raising anymore because that was too many for what land I had. So then I carried on, but I only used one outfit anyway. It was five, but changing around. Tell us what we see in this photograph right here. Well, all you see there is me on the plow, on a two foot of plow, five horses, and I'm plowing that land. How, how much could you plow with the horses? Oh, about five acres a day. You gotta make a good day to get that plowed. What but, time would you get up in the morning to? Oh, you get out there about eight o'clock in the morning. Wow. Go to about six, seven at night. And would you stop for lunch? Would you and trade off the horses? No, no. no the same they, team of same horses. Same team. They stop for dinner, have their two hour, and I have a rest after. And get back on it and go till supper times. You had lunch with the this house. This is right at home. Yes, on okay. the home place. Yeah. Okay, and uh, who made you lunch? The wife did. <laughs> what would she make you for lunch? Oh. Uh, Oh, and always like soup or potatoes and whatever she had, meat. You always have something good that you eat and then you have a rest and then you go back. Tell me about what happened when you made the transition from having horses to having tractors. Oh, yeah. You were one of the last farmers. Tell us about that. I'll make it easier for you. You thought you'd have more time for doing something else when you work with a tractor. But I don't think I did because I go do something else in the daytime and I work with tractor in the evenings. And I had more time to do other things around home or build something or do something, you know. And you do your work faster too, so. So you just did more in the end? Oh yeah, you did more that way. When he went on the tractor, He'd come and help me milk cows, because we milked a lot of cows. But with horses, you know, slow going, I wouldn't say anything else. Starts that when he came for supper, we were together. Because we milked, that was the living. 10, 11 cows always. Milk That's cows why it I, was easier. I got into a bunch of pigs too. <laughs> the cream check. Cream check. <laughs> you know all about it. How did they convince you then to change from horses to tractor? He convinced himself. Well, I convinced myself because it was easier for me. Okay. I didn't have to get up in the morning, go brush them and feed them. And that you fill up and get fuel and get out there and do your work. So tell me about buying your first tractor. Oh, he, the dealer took some horses off my hands and I paid him the difference. And, and that's how I got them. So saw, you made a bit of a trade. Oh, yeah, I made a trade and then paid in a difference. I bought myself a cultivator for it and, uh, and a plow, two for it also. And I did the same kind of work with, with the tractor as I did five, six horses. Do you remember the name of uh, the make of the tractor? Uh, International. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was 240, uh, 245 International. Yeah, and then. After four or five years, I traded onto a bigger one, 414. It wasn't much bigger, but it's a few horses bigger anyway, so I used that. And then after a few years, the Dominion tractor come out, <laughs> and I got one of them. Bad luck. <laughs> so I used that for about eight, nine years, and then I traded that off, and I got a brand new international. I still have it on the farm now. The boy has it. So that was a good tractor. But in my life, I bought four new tractors all my farming time. So. See, after he rented more land. I rent, rented more land. I worked three quarters then, so I was able to do it. Paul believed him. Have the money, start doing. And that's crazy, too. <laughs> we should have... Bore up to the hill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't believe in that.
If I had it, I used it and spent it and do it. What those if I didn't have it, I, out, it I can do without it. Oh, yeah. That's why I worked so long with horses. Yeah. Why put yourself in, in debts that you haven't got? He to, said, I'll lose what I got. You know, you haven't got enough around you to, to pay for it. So why try and take and waste it and then you're... You have we got always nothing. had lots of good food and that. But thank God so far we've no complaints.